Good midday everyone. A lot has happened since we saw you this morning. Let's get you updated. I'm Andrew Ward. We want to get right out to that breaking news we just mentioned near 52nd and O Street involving a deadly crash that also sent more than a dozen people to the hospital. Welcome back everyone. We continue our month long series this morning into a problem that has grown to a dangerous level this year in our community. Well, this is obviously a hot topic right now with the CDC releasing their latest uh, guidelines uh, shifting to mask wearing here in your school districts. We have historic breaking news to get you caught up on this midday. As you can see behind me, our nation's capital is packed with protesters right now. States like Nebraska can officially begin banning a abortions after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. Well, Malcolm, we forgot to eat the pizza earlier. We We're just kind of lean down here and uh, eat our there pizza while, while you do uh, while you do the forecast here and give us a final check. Oh, right? got... Well, we have some breaking news in Lincoln this morning where police are investigating a crash on O Street. It was Lincoln police reporting another shooting in our city. LVD says a teenager was shot in the head after a fight broke out in the parking lot of a popular sports complex. How have you seen this grow? Because there was a five year rolling average between 2016 and 20 or 2015 and 2020, where it was just 75 cases a year. Well, we're at 180 so far this year. How have you seen this kind of grow over the years, the last couple of years especially? Sounds like a good spot for the trending segment, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> On the world's first living robots can reproduce. Wait, what? Yes. They we're also getting tons of local reaction into the newsroom this morning on what this could mean for Nebraskans. 10 years ago, Melanie O'Hare died two weeks after giving birth to her daughter. This morning, we're hearing from her family who spoke with Channel 8 about Melanie, her struggle, and how they are using her story to help others heal while also healing themselves. I hear you like belly rubs as well. So. Oh, I love belly rubs. Hey, yeah. We want to get right to some breaking news about a gun that may have been carried onto Lincoln Public School property. But <laughs> this is the end. This is when robots take over the world, I guess. So. Mike Flood and Patty Pansy Brooks are now sharing how they prevent a mass shooting here in Nebraska. Like Katrina was so excited about your forecast for this weekend, Bernie. She dropped her phone. I did. Yeah. She threw her Just phone. And with the possibility of a special session being called here in Nebraska following this decision, the election for Jeff Fortenberry's vacant congressional seat now has much higher implications. Oh. I gave yourself a pat on the back, everyone. You made it to Friday. I'm Andrew Ward.